So, are $600 Albans worth it? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, okay. These are a used pair of Alden Indies. And yes, I specifically bought them so that I could... Well, what do you think? What, are you kidding? These are $600 Aldens. There's no way I'm tearing these apart. Come on. These are my new work shoes. Alright, so I saw a couple of videos that Steve did on Beto's Leatherworks. Uh, where Steve shows his Alden Indies that he's had for about, hmm, I don't know, eight to ten years now. He says he's resold them, what, three or four times now, and just got finished re dyeing them, and he put new stitching around the toe, and yeah, that's really nice, you know. So, if, you know, his hold up for him like that, and he said, he told me I wouldn't be uh, disappointed with these shoes, so. I decided to buy myself a pair. Well, these are these are new to me, okay? They're not brand new. They're just new to me. And this is the Alden 40502HC, I believe. And that's the one with the Commando Soul leather with Commando Soul, which is in very good condition. No real wear on the on the sole here. Chrome Excel top. Glove line, glove leather liner. Shoes. How much did I pay for these? I paid three hundred and fifty for them, and I know I probably could have gotten a better deal. Maybe spent a few more dollars and gotten a pair of factory seconds or something like that. But I really wanted, I actually wanted a broken in pair already. I wanted a pair that were lightly used, um, but used you know there's guys that pay top dollar for this kind of patina on their shoes and you know i get it at a discount and i don't have to wait and then too here's the other thing like i said these are going to be my new work shoes um and it had i paid top dollar for these shoes or brand new i'd have been too afraid i would have been too afraid to go out and go do any work in them. I'd have been afraid to scuff them. I'd have been afraid to nick them. So, you know, paying $250 less than brand new, I'm not quite as afraid. Wouldn't you be? All right. All right. Forgive me, guys. I got to turn the air conditioner on. I'm hoping that the uh, sound from this air conditioner isn't too loud on the microphone, but it's warm in here. It's southeast Louisiana, and it's still warm. Anyway, just so you know, these are, come on, stay up. These are indeed Aldens. 40502, can you see it right there? 40502HC. So, we'll do this a little bit different. I guess we will just break out with the Venetian cream. And we'll show you what you do with Chrome Excel leather. So, let's get the Venetian cream opened up. And I am a fan of using my fingers.
let these sit for a few minutes and I'll take the camera over there and I'm not going to show Amy's face on the camera but I will show you what she's working on the dop kit is she working on dop? nope she's not working on dop kit no, bow ties. she's working on bow ties so we'll let these sit Let's talk about these for a minute. You know, there's, there's a lot of videos out there on the Alden Indie Boots. And, I mean, what can, what can I say that everybody else hasn't said? Uh, are they great shoes? I mean, everything I've read, this is my first pair I've ever owned. Um, I have yet to try them on or anything. I mean, I know they fit me. But uh, as far as what, what I know about the shoes, they're, they're supposed to be some of the most comfortable boots you can buy and some of the most durable boots I mean heck why Harrison Ford used them I mean come on Harrison Ford used them in in Raiders of the Lost Ark and and you know all of the Indiana Jones movies they must be good boots right um, what would I do different if I if if I had Alden's ear what would I ask them to do different about this boot? Well, first of all, I think I would go to a, I would ask them if they could do a, a specific model that had a 360 degree welt. This is only 270, so the stitches come back here. They stop here on both sides. Um, and, you know, personally, I wouldn't mind if the heel base were, were a little bit wider. You know, it's, it's a work boot. Um, wouldn't bother me in the least if this were a little bit wider, give me a little bit more, maybe a quarter of an inch extra. What is that? About, yeah, about a quarter of an inch extra, eighth of an inch on each side. You'd only increase the, uh, the width of the, the heel by about a quarter of an inch. And yeah, I would, I would love that. Um, what else? What else? I can see... Well, this was an issue, the tongue was an issue with the previous owner, okay? I can actually, I can tell by the way it's sitting that it rolled to one side as he was wearing it. Uh, what would I do different? If I were Alden, I would probably put, extend where the tongue connects from here. I would bring it up a bit higher and make the tongue not quite as long. It really doesn't need to be that long to get your foot in there. I mean, that's just a crazy amount. And again, this is both shoes it was doing it on. It wants to curl over to one side. So as you're wearing it throughout the day, your tongue of your shoe ends up alongside of your ankle. Yeah, I don't particularly care for that. Okay, back to these. The Venetian cream has had a chance to dry now. So, I have an old pool table brush. It's horsehair. I like it. Works well for me. It has long bristles in the front and in the back, and it has short little stubby bristles. And I've been using this same brush using this exact same brush for all of my shoes for years. I think I got it with a, a pool table purchase. Pool table I bought to resell some years back. So nice medium luster on them. We don't want them see, dull luster, medium luster. Okay, dull, medium. Um, these are work shoes. I don't want them to be like pow in your face, shiny. 
but I do want them nourished and moisturized. I've heard of guys using Neat's Foot Oil for, uh, for doing their indies. Yeah. I have the stuff. I don't use it for that. I use it for straight up veg, for, for veg tan leather projects. All right, that's it for that shoe. Beautimus. It's beautiful. Thank you, Doug. All right. All right, we got a pair of shoelaces. Now, don't know if these are the right length. Let's find out. These are Great Laces Pro Tough Kevlar Boot, 72 inch. I don't know if 72 inch is the right size, so let's find out. Are they the right size? Are they the right length? The boot laces might be a little bit long. Yeah, these might be a little bit long. That's fine. Let's fig. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is gonna be too long. Oh yeah, that's that's way too long. All right, can't use the Kevlar laces in this one. I wanted to, but can't. Oh well. Dang it! All right, that was my Napoleon Dynamite impersonation. Dang it! Vote for Pedro. I am not going to do straight lacing on these. I'm going to do regular straight up lacing. And we go from under to over. I'm not a big fan of flat laces because they look terrible when they start to when they roll. I'm a little anal retentive, but I'm gonna forego being anal retentive about this. Let's don't be sloppy here. All right, throw these in here. So let's talk about this for just a moment here before I put these on. Um, do I think they are worth uh, the $350 I paid for them as workbook boots? That remains to be seen. We're going to find out. Um, I will do, tell you what, I'll make a deal with you guys. I will do a one year review next year about this time. And by the way, these shoes are about five years old. Uh, I will do a one year review since I've had them uh, and using, using them as they were originally intended to be work boots. Like I said, I would change out and put 360 degree welt and I would uh, secure this tongue a little bit higher up but other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely impressed with them. So let's, uh, let's put them on. Let's see how they feel. How do they, how do they fit my foot? New Balance. And yes, I'm a big fan of earth tone shoes. Look at there, we scared Amy off. Ha oh, ha, like a glove. Oh, you can't see. Like a glove. And I'm in a rolling chair, so I keep rolling away. I don't want to do that. All right. Come on. Tighten that up a little. This is going to be hard. <laughs> Speed hooks. <laughs> Love me some speed hooks. Uh, 
Oh, that feels, that feels wonderful on my foot. They are soft. So this is the first time I'm actually trying them on. And uh, they are soft. I don't mean like mushy soft. I mean like... How do I describe it? Like I said, I mean, it's not like, it's not like they're mushy or anything. This is hard. It's not like they feel sloppy. They just... It's like gloves. It's like wearing a pair of gloves on your feet. This is not the easiest position to try to put shoes on, but I do it for you guys. The pain, the agony, it's all for you. Now, this is straight up with jeans. I love it. I love the look. Darker jeans, these go great with lighter jeans. I intend on wearing them with chinos and khakis and just about anything, really. I mean, they're 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 great looking shoes. I'm not one of these prissy guys that wants to like you know roll up my pant legs and stuff. No, I'm a working guy. All right. God, I'm ugly. Oh, that's terrible. That looks terrible. Look at me. At least I don't have a unibrow or anything. Okay. Anyway, so what do you guys think about the Alden Indies? Tell me. Do you have a pair? Do you wear them? How often do you see them out in the wild? Do you ever see construction guys wearing them? All right, so let me know in the comments below what you think of the new shoes. Um, are you disappointed that I didn't tear them apart like the other shoes? Um, I'm not disappointed, but... Uh, I don't want to tear them apart. I'm not going to tear them apart. Um, do you have a pair of indies? Uh, how do you wear them? What do you wear them with? Uh, what are your thoughts on them? Do you agree with me about the 360 welt and the tongue? Um, uh, which indies do you have? Do you have uh, any of the suede indies? Or look at this sweat. Or are you are you sporting like I am the? Uh, Chrome XL, are you wearing the uh, Veg Tan, the Cowhide ones? Tell me. Talk to me. Let me know in the comments below. Later. Thanks for watching.